Welcome back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. Today's episode, well, I buy my dream truck again. What I'm talking about is that junk behind me. People that have been with me for a long time on this channel, you can go back in time and see the, uh, yellow and white Peterbilt I used to have. And that was my favorite truck I ever owned and I regret selling it ever since I let it go. So today, today I take delivery, took delivery of what you see behind me. And it's probably as close as I'm ever gonna come to my old truck. Cause my old truck can't be bought back. I tried. Anyways, let's check it out. We're going to roll the clip of unloading it. A little sketchy, but uh, we made it through. So enjoy that clip, and uh, I'll see you back in a minute. probably ask yourself why is it already chained to the trailer it's a good question uh, long short story I guess is that it hasn't run in 30 years and it's not going to anytime soon we'll get into that in a minute but what we've got here is a 1975 Peterbilt extended hood 359 with a factory 12V71 Detroit and twin sticks, a six and a four. This combination came out of the factory that way. It was originally a log truck. This is factory frame rail. It was this long, however, the wheelbase was shorter. So let me explain you. It came out of the factory as a log truck, which means it had a stinger in the back. And at some point in its life, I'm not sure if Von Arx had done it, or I, th I believe the gentleman before him actually did it. I'm not real sure, but it was on Hendrickson pad with the with the stinger had sshd's 529 ratio it does not have that anymore what we have now is airleaf ds380 eaton's 390 ratio both boxes are overdrive so let me tell you this thing will get down the road i mean not anytime soon but so when they convert it to airleaf they took the axle and slid it back just as far as you could go without stretching the truck. So that's why there's no 
that's why the truck's not stretched that's why you know is what it is so you can tell we're missing a couple pieces uh, I really need a set of fenders these are absolutely destroyed so this is what's known as the cash grill heavy hood Peter Bo only did this for like two years or something not a long time I'm not sure exactly but it's a steel fender aluminum hood with an oil door and a, a radiator door in the top and the problem with these is all the schmoo collects up in here rots fender out the other problem with these is it's real real hard to find fenders anybody's got any kicking around i'm a buyer give me a call or drop me an email so like i said it's been changed around a little bit uh that was one of the things i absolutely adored about my old truck was that it was totally the way it came from the factory and we're gonna do a video on that I got all the footage on my laptop and and I just uh, I haven't been able to bring myself to make the video but I guess now we, we will do that so anyway the other one was totally untouched so you couldn't really play with it and and make it the way you wanted to whereas this one I, I don't have that problem. It's been changed around a little bit. It didn't come with those fuel tanks. Came with It would have had 23s from the factory. Those are 26s. And actually, the that one was under the door when it came out of the factory. So, I can play with this one. And we'll tell you about the plans here shortly, but she's long for now let's just appreciate the beauty for you guys that don't know i didn't know up until old bill told me these are cozad ramps and it's like a california low boy but so instead of picking the trailer up with hydraulics you just back under it and that's why these are so long and low like that it's actually super cool and i really dig the pin on it too so we could like pull something else with it it's aluminum frame and of course the cozad ramps are steel there's no way they would survive aluminum but so basically, I believe they just cut the stinger off and put that on there. I believe it would have had to have been Bill that did that because he's the guy running the Cozad ramps. So, let's mosey on up to the front here. This truck came from California. So this truck came from California, uh, had it shipped out with that little Mac. And this was the actual reason for the shipment, was this truck here. I'd already made a deal on this. And then we found, I found the, the Mac on Marketplace and it didn't make sense not to haul it out uh, because this took up so much room on the trailer shipping was astronomical to only ship this truck so it just made financial sense to get something else uh to bring with it and try to offset some of the shipping costs so that was the plan there you could see the auxiliary here it's a four speed twin counter shaft progressive auxiliary so what that means is there's no some of these have a uh they're non-progressive there's a real big it's got a real deep low hole and and this i believe doesn't have that it should be exactly the same way my other one was where it's a progressive each gear is a is a well a progressive step from the last as opposed to having one giant jump and then some gears that are close together so yeah it's real rough but it's all here and 
really when you're buying something like this you're kind of just buying a VIN number let's uh, step inside to my office it's not in great shape but it's not bad either the door panel need a little work the dash is pretty solid it's got one major crack up there I'm kind of sad about that if I can find a, a flat dash to replace it I will these are real hard to find these dashes they didn't do them for as many years as they did the Corvette dash that it's really called the dash glass but everybody likes to call it a Corvette dash but so I'll join along some things to note on this truck uh, not a whole lot of options Jeez, that's metal. That's a really terrible idea. Um, not a whole lot of options. You know, we got no chrome column. No chrome there. Neither of the shifters are chrome. Someone has stolen my shift knobs. So, if any of you kind folk out there have a set of Peter Bull Hanko knobs, I'd really like a set. So, reach out to me. Let me know what you got. Uh, it did come factory with a course can 98 heritage can huh 2013 it's not even that old lame being a long hood it does have the tilt cylinders and then this truck does have a PTO on it and like half a wet kit We'll, we'll get to that at some point in the future, but it does have the big wheel, which I really like. This truck was ordered factory with power steering. However, it doesn't have power steering currently. Uh, why someone would take it off, I don't know, but it is the style, like my cab over, where it's more of an assist, so maybe they were having trouble with it, and it was just easier to remove it. Uh... No truck would be complete without a bullet hole in the window. I don't know what it is about me, but I just cannot get away without one. You'll notice, one of the first things you'll notice about this dashboard is that it doesn't have a low air pressure light. And the reason it doesn't have a low air pressure light is because it has a wigwag that would come out of here, what they call a wigwag, which is like a, it looks like a little small stop sign. And when you get low air pressure, it folds down. I think someone robbed that also and so I got to get this off of here yet I haven't done it but I need to and then maybe we can see what's in there custom green light up here that's fancy rusted dash ain't too bad no factory jump seat still there not terrible shape I love the back window, right? I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the... Looks like you're in prison there on the back rack. It looks cool as hell. I uh, have no clue what's with the holes drilled all in this. Maybe they put the window in. I don't know. I don't have the build sheet yet. I'm waiting on it to come in the mail, so... Uh, We'll find out together, I guess. Pretty much your standard stuff. Jake's. So this is similar to my other one in that it has a stop button instead of the engine doesn't shut off with the key. You actually have to push the stop button, which I like better. That was like my favorite thing about the other one. It has a full gauge package. Uh... The only thing it doesn't have, and I'm real kind of upset about it, someone's either someone robbed or it didn't have the dual pyrometer that it should have. And looking at the engine, I do believe it should have had it, but that's I, I gotta get one. I, I can still order that, so it's not the end of the world. 
Someone's replaced the water temp gauge, so I need to hunt down a water temp. If you notice, it has a different style of gauge. These are like what my cab over has, and they're like a, I think they only did them like three years or something. It's, it's a hard to find gauge. So I need to find one of those that's water temperature, because that just won't do. Uh, but all the rest of this stuff is here. Whether or not it's going to work, I don't know. They're all kind of in um, terrible condition. Uh, what I don't see is... Air fan. So clearly someone's added this. Uh, that wouldn't have been their factory. Obviously because it didn't have air ride. Has a full set of switches down here. Mine didn't, my other one didn't have any. But uh, yeah. Oh, there's a little bit more of the PTO control. And your of course throttle no, throttle up knob. I'm trying to think what else I can show you. Oh, what I like the thing I do like about this truck is it has a fuel pressure gauge right here front and center, which my other one did not have. It had some funky boost gauge, like you were ever gonna look at that on a natural 71. Uh so I would like to and maybe relocate this air suspension get rid of it and get the factory correct band control like my old one had that's a story for another day there's our auxiliary shifter i was messing with this the other day it's actually really tight for an auxiliary it's actually much tighter than my old one was i believe someone's replaced it and the main is actually really pretty decent too, considering these have a really goofy shift pattern. Uh, you can't you can't see it up there, but uh, real. It's I'd have to show you i'll put a picture in on my other one so you can see from my other one because it had the plates uh we'll have to get those redone or if somebody has a set let me know get a hold of me that's frozen oh let's just pull down shall we um we'll have a look here under the uh horsepower hideout and see what's under there if I can get the damn thing open no clue what this switch is for by the way yeah I'm just not a big enough guy to get that open by myself without any air assist and uh, that ain't happening so uh I'll bring you on back when we get it open, okay? Frig off, neighbor kid. Yeah. Jesus, I almost tried to jump down, not remembering it was on the trailer. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. That would have hurt. Remember that time I broke my leg right before the truck show? Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Questionable sounds. Thanks, buddy. You got it. I think I can get her closed. How's that look? Right. About as good as you thought? Oh, wait. What, what, what is that? Oh, yeah. Somebody let all the horsepowers out. Yeah, oh, every one of them. <laughs> Six of them, anyways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I'm prepping. Go wash the truck. Thanks, dude. You got it. Well, fellas, I don't know how much you can see from up there, but...
you can tell there's some things that are not correct. One of them being the top is off the governor. It's been off the governor for 30 years. I actually can't believe it's here, but the thing is in amazingly good shape considering. We'll just put that back. And then when I accidentally leave the hood open. It's really not happy with me. I can't believe most of the screws are still here even. What are we um hold on here? Oh probably rack is probably seized yet. <laughs> seized solid. Uh, right. That thing ain't gonna go on there, I don't think. So that's as good as it's gonna get. Maybe we can start one of the screws. But it's not looking like it. I just didn't want to lose any of this shit. You know, this thing's been sitting around for 30 years. That's a whole lot different than riding around on a trailer going to a truck show, you know what I mean? So, this is what we got. This is a factory V12. Aluminum frame truck. The set of boxes is factory it originally had power steering if you remember this valve is the same as the one that's on my cab over somebody has robbed there's our reservoir someone has robbed the arm that goes to the crossover so i'll need to source one of them luckily they still make it i don't know about the bracket though that's going to be the hard to find bit but that is in the plans to put that back. I have zero interest in driving this truck without power steering. Originally, it was a single breather truck and someone has scabbed one or the other breathers on there. I'm not sure which one is factory and which one isn't. Maybe with a little investigative work we can tell. Let's see if we can get over the other side and I'll show you the show you the problem area <laughs> so you'll notice these big hood trucks don't have a limiting strap or chains or anything to hold them it's all done by these little tiny cylinders which is kind of sketchy if you ask me but these are air cylinders and they help you tilt the hood because this hood's so freaking heavy and that's why I need a hand lift in the hood because they're friggin' heavy and I'm a little bit of a bitch. Ugh. But actually the one nice part compared to my other truck is the hood is still got a lot of paint on it. My other truck it was pretty much wasted. I'm not real sure what the deal is with the screws in that. It's not supposed to have screws in it. I don't know why they would do such a thing. This is supposed to have a roller here. Maybe that's why, because the roller's gone. It's supposed to have a roller to kind of add friction. We'll have to fix that. And they did the same thing over here with us. They riveted this thing closed, which infuriates me, but... 
whatever. What is all the commotion about over on this side opening the hood, do you suppose? I don't know. I wonder where that wire goes. There must be a light somewhere. Huh. Interesting. Supposed to be a. I wonder if you had a light in the back of the fender there. Anyway, this is the. Uh, this is her not so photogenic side. You can tell it's um, been apart more than a day. Said he got it hot, and that's what happened to it. I'd imagine he got it hot because the radiator is in uh, less than stellar condition, we'll say. So she's going to need a radiator. Fan got into it. Seam is on the cab over, actually. And I think what we're going to do is get rid of all that and put a clutch fan on it. That's probably what failed. But actually, maybe not, because I don't see any of the... I don't see the valve or anything for the clutch fan. So maybe that's just me talking on my ass. That is not the correct dipstick. There's still oil in it. It's probably half water, actually. Oh yeah, it smells moist. We'll uh, have to at some point get a video of opening the I wonder if they scabbed that dipstick together what the deal is with us I don't know um, ugh. Ugh. tastes like I don't know moisture I don't know how else to explain it ugh filthy I don't even want that on my hand So at least the exhaust manifold is here because those are specific to a Pete. What I was supposed to get with the truck and didn't, surprise, surprise, is the upper radiator hose with the water neck on it. So these are special to an Automotive 12, which is these thermostat housings. And I, was, I have the lower half, he did give me that, but I don't have the upper half. He said it was on the radiator hose. Which ain't on the truck. <sighs> so we'll have to deal with that. I don't know. So I, this engine is supposed to be the original engine. I do believe that. It's still wearing its pack car white. Can't really tell on the blowers. And I almost wonder if they've been changed. But so in this era, Packard painted their engines white. And you can tell from the, the flywheel housing here, accessory brackets and stuff, that they're correct. Same with the water pump. Uh, I'm looking for anything else. I can see, obviously, your fan mount rad supports are correct. So we'll have to look it over a little bit more close and see what else has been changed. You can see there's pack car white on the oil pan and the block down there, but I haven't yet been able to get to the serial number on the engine to run it, nor do I have, I'm waiting on the build sheet to come, and that'll tell me a little bit more about it. I don't know if I can lift that uh, manifold up any to get a better look at it. Actually, the manifold looks nice. It's very, there's no black in it, like it was slobbering or anything. And, I mean, it would still be there, of course. I mean, you could still see some of the oil up in the engine, so. 
Man, I'm friggin' bummed about that radiator. Um. Oh wow, that's not good. Is that for real? Ouch. We're going to have to take a much closer look at this thing when we start taking it apart. It looks to me like the bolt is broke on that front engine mount. You see how it's, there's a gap there? I don't think there's supposed to be a gap there, fellas. So we'll have to deal with that. But hopefully it's just as simple as getting a bolt out. Boy, I tell you, I'd really like that uh, thermostat housing. There's a look at our auxiliary transmission mount. Obviously, that's been changed, so I'm assuming it's awfully tight. I mean, my old truck had 300,000 original miles and was way sloppier, so I'm imagining they just put that on and or uh, something. You know, something has changed there. Not really a big deal. We'll figure it out. What else can I see that's been obviously changed or doesn't look right? Notice the 12 as compared to my 92 has three rubber mounts instead of two. That's a little different. Looks like originally the frame was red. Whoever did, whoever, uh, so this was a Philbrick logging truck, so I'm imagine, imagining he's the guy that painted it because these are his colors, but they did a real nice job painting it, actually. Uh, I mean, they went through the trouble to pull the rad's trout off and paint it, which is cool. That normally would have been a different color. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember what color. I want to say just maybe a bare aluminum color. I'd have to look at it, or steel, rather. I'd have to look at go back through pictures of my old one, but it looks way cooler that blue, so I don't see man, I just I just really like that like to have that thermostat housing. Kinda of bums me out that it's not there. Everything else looks good though. Like you said, I haven't This one, this bracket's been changed. If you notice, the uh, one on the other side is aluminum. So I'm imagining it broke at some point, and they changed it. I haven't got to the serial number of the tranny yet either. I wanted to kind of look at that just to make sure it is still the overdrive six that it's supposed to be and the serial slash model number should tell me that also i'm really excited to see it's got spin-ons on it so somebody must have converted that at some point so that is the wrong that's the wrong spin-on for secondary fuel normally how this would have worked is it would have had the real big one like my cab over has, and it wouldn't have been a spin on. You know, remember we converted that over. It has the correct primary though, uh, but that is not the correct spot. So this would have been, normally it would have been up here. It would have bolted right here. And so somebody's changed that around and you can see even that it's a much bigger bolt pattern on the bigger housing. So we'll have to get the correct bigger secondary there's a reason they do that fuel flow wise you know the 12 requires a certain amount of fuel does look like it's 71 style blowers so nobody's nobody's changed anything there oh i did want to point out i'm wondering if this is half the reason he took it apart or i'd love to know the story behind this that liner's cracked and it's got a chunk missing out of it 
and I would love to know if that's why it got taken apart. It does almost look like that piston. See that? Like maybe it hit something. Maybe something. Maybe it. I had a look. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. It didn't look like it dropped a valve or anything. So we'll have to look at that. Deck surface isn't as bad as you would think for it being exposed for. Well, since 1998, 30 years anyway, better part of 30 years. You can see where that air compressor, I wonder if uh, somebody put an air compressor on it at some point and got the wrong one or something. Because you can see where that got into the floorboard there. Where they, they like ground piece of the floorboard out to make room for it, but there's no... It's a factory 12 truck, so, you know, there's no reason to do that. Something changed. I don't know what, but we will get to the bottom of it. Yeah, that's a replacement air compressor. That's what it is. I wonder if that had a 90-degree a one, you know, if it had uh, originally was 90 degrees and, and <laughs> got changed somewhere along the way. And that's what they had, so they made it fit. I don't know. We'll, we'll look into that. I'll look, I'll look through pictures of my other one. Unfortunately, I don't think the cam's savable. I, I would be honestly absolutely shocked if this engine even turned over with as long as it's been apart and as bad as those kits look. Oh, I like that it has the window here. My 359 does not. I don't believe that thermostat housing was anywhere in the cab. Yeah, it's not in there. Because that would have been sweet. I don't believe it was in the bucket of parts either because it would be blatantly obvious. It's way bigger than anything on the, in there. That's just jakes and stuff. So I think we're shit out of luck on that. Really kind of a bummer. Floor mat's in nice shape, though. I'm not mad at that. The door shut's nice. So anyway. That's, uh... That's a look at old number 29. no chance of me getting it open but I can just close it well there's a look at old number 29 this one's here it's here to stay we got to get it to work at some point on it I'm not sure when the next you're gonna see this truck uh, if you'd like to see it in person we are at Boston Spa right now this video is dropping Friday the show is Saturday and Sunday, so if you want to see this truck in person, come to the Boston Spa Show. It's Hudson Mohawk ATHS Chapter. It's at the Saratoga County Fairgrounds, um, Boston Spa, New York. It's really uh, probably my favorite show of the year because it's so close to me. It's like 15 minutes from here, so I always, I always have a good time there. Anyway... Um, if you want to see this truck, the Mac's going to be there. Mac's going to be for sale at the show. We've got that pretty well cleaned up now. Runs, drives, stops on its own. That thing is dialed right to life. Look at her, dude. She is just a sweetheart. Uh, we're going to toss the new back window in it tomorrow before we leave. But So that'll be there at the show. And obviously Mossy, she's all cleaned up, ready for the prom. She'll be there. Obviously, she's doing the pulling. James is coming. He's bringing the low boy. We're going to have the cab over there. Just, it's a grand old time. Come see us. Come see the trucks. And, yeah. 
thanks for watching guys i i just i hope you're as excited about this as i am unfortunately it means we're gonna have to make some changes around here if we're gonna keep this and finish it i just can't I, the channel's just not big enough guys i can't afford to finish you know seven trucks right so one of them a couple of them two three of them has got to go the max definitely for sale uh I think this means we're going to get rid of the 3408 truck. But this Detroit channel, I'm a Detroit guy, obviously. So the V12 trucks are going to stay. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you're as pumped about this thing as I am. It's long. It's really cool. It was a big horse in its day. We'll do a video and we'll go through the build sheet and find out exactly what's been changed and what's not been changed, et cetera, et cetera. But it's long, it's original frame. It's pretty well stood the test of time. So we've got to bring it back. We got to finish this thing. That's going to do it for me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Come see us at the show. I really appreciate all you guys. There's still one week left to get your hats uh, for the hat, the battle of the hats, we're calling it. And uh, basically what we're going to do is put, put together a care package for um, a random person that buys a hat. See all the details in the Mac video or the LOL video, etc., etc. But there's well, there's one week left to get your hats. Um, we have the USA style or the Battleship Gray. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this purchase. Let me know what you think about it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.